Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We are going to be on board the Triumph Daytona 675R right here in Suzuka for the GP circuit. So as it seems to be quite accustomed to these challenges in Ride 4, we have to use the stock tyres yet again, and this time is no exception right here in Suzuka. So going into the first corner, you want to be taking a wider sweeping line there, following the very, very deep black tyre marks on this track. That's where you need to be. You need to be following that racing line. Get into the left-hand side for Snake and then bring it to the right-hand side. You can do a lot of trail braking into those particular corners, such as to into turn 5 of Snake, and then onto the right-hand side for the anti-banked curve of turn 6. You want to gradually bring on the throttle here because there's quite a bit of banking that will help you bring it into the corner, but at the same time it is easy to run it wide and clip the rumble strip. Be very careful going over a little small bump into the Dunlop curve. It's very easy to lose the front there and lose the rear if you go over that bump. And the same for turn 8 for the Degna curve. I can't tell you how many runs have ended. Some brilliant world record attempting laps have died because of the Degna curve. But stay with me on that one. Make sure you brake early. Make sure you brake calmly and gently and not leaning in too much towards the rumble strip. Now, of course, this being the GP circuit, this is the longer, wider sweeping line for 200R, opposed to the shorter chicane that the motorcycle GP usually gets. Onto this right-hand side, again, little dip, bit, little bit of a dip there, as you must have seen just a moment ago. Little dip in the road there, carrying too much speed, carrying too much lean angle, will you force you off the motorcycle, so do be careful going into turn 13. Now, coming out of turn 14, it's full acceleration, full tuck in, make sure you're pushing the right away forward. Make sure you're pushing at uh, whatever tucking button you've got assigned. For me, it's the X button. Now going into the left-hand side, going for the 130R. Be very careful of touching that rumble strip. I was lucky to get away with it there. You might not be so much. And congratulations to me. New title has been unlocked for the Suzuka Expert title. Casio Triangle navigated pretty easily. Go slowly there. Take it easy. Take it steady. And you'll absolutely nail the Casio Triangle. So we had a decent lap that is more than sufficient for the gold, but we'll try and improve upon the 205-230. I don't like to be that close to the next increment or second, so therefore we'll do it again. Going into turn one, nice tight line, again still sweeping, using the long reach of the Triumph to push us round into the corner. Now we're getting onto the left-hand side. We went on the left-hand side early there, and if you pay attention to the bottom right corner of your screen, you will notice how much little of trail braking that is required, but it's just enough to help bring the bike in because when you trail brake you close the gap into the corner and then you manage to get really tight a line to push into those corners but of course do be careful when you are trail braking too much brake will cause the front end to drop so do be careful on that one Dunlop curve navigates extremely well smooth roll control brake around 60 to 70 meters before the Degna curve getting onto the right hand side of the tire get close to the rumble strip but do not go into the green because that will invalidate your lap going underneath the, uh, the bridge now now onto the right-hand side of the tyre for the very, very tight left-hander of turn 11 for the hairpin. Braking early there, but you can sort of brake and turn into it. Of course, not every bike game does this, but Ride Force is quite generous on the brakes. Make sure you're giving a lot of brake, even some rear brake in there if needed. Now push it as much as you can do, keep going. Watch out for this drop there, see it in the road there. That little bit of a drop is just enough to knock the motorcycle over, so do be careful. Going into the spoon curve, you can go for a tighter line here, so towards the apex there, and then slowly bring on the acceleration and push out. Bearing in mind, we are still using the stock tyre, so you can see in the bottom right corner of your screen, front tyre is getting rather toasty, but it's quite alright, and it's more than sufficient to hold on. Now braking here, about 70 to 80 metres away from the braking zone. Break early around the 150 metre zone for this final section. It's very difficult to get wrong as long as you break early. If you break late, you will never make that corner. Cast your triangle, a nice flicker direction, change to the right, flick it to the left, once more to the right. And there you go, Suzuka nailed with a Triumph Daytona 675, and the lap time's going to be a 204.57. So guys, those have been my two laps here in Suzuka. I really hope this guide has helped you learn and understand Suzuka a little bit better so you can go onto your PlayStations, Xboxes or PCs and nail the gold just like I did today. So yes guys, I didn't forget this time, I, I read the comments and you guys want to see where I positioned on the leaderboards, there you go, up by three seconds, all fine and dandy and that is pretty much it from me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, like, comment and subscribe. 
hit the notification bell to be alerted every single Dot Trace upload, and upon that note guys, thanks for watching, and ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now, with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.